going on? It's Joey Myers again from the Hitting Performance Lab. And in this video, I wanna give you a quick demonstration of the difference between using muscle and using springy fascia or connective tissue. Fascia is basically a cotton candy or spider webby like material that your bones and muscles float in. It gives muscles their shape. And if you were to take out all the fascial net, all the fascia out of your body and leave everything else, everything else would fall to a heap on the ground. Another way to think about fascia is like bags. So you go to the, the grocery store and you get a bag of potatoes. Well, the potatoes would be like everything else, the, the bones, the muscles, the organs, whereas the bag itself or the mesh bag or netting that you get that holds the potatoes is the fascia. Fascia is very springy. It is to the human body as steel is to the building industry. So it likes to keep its shape. This is what makes it springy along with the collagen fibers and the elastin fibers made up of mostly collagen though. So here's a quick demo that you can do with your hitters or coaches to explain to them in a visual way or in a feel way what the, the power of fascia and springy fascia. So what I want you to do is, I don't think you can see my hands on my thighs, so I'm gonna put my hand here, but I want you, if you're sitting there on the couch or in the chair or whatever, I want you to put your hand on your thigh, your right hand or left hand, whatever your whatever handedness you are, and you're gonna put your right hand on your thigh, I'm gonna show you, the, I'm gonna demo it here, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, your index finger, your hand's index finger here, and you're gonna slam that finger down as hard as you can, pull it up, slam it down three times. Okay, that is an example of using your muscles to slam that finger down. Now, the second time of three, second thing, is I want you to pull your finger back, don't slam it down, don't slam it down as in like use muscles to slam it down on this one. I want you to just pull it back and let it just go, let it go. Relax the finger, pull it back, let it go. Notice how much more force that you're feeling on your thigh or your chest, however you're doing this, you told you your thigh, Notice how much more production, force production, with just pulling it back and slingshotting and letting it go. Now that's using more of your springy fashion, your ligament tissue, in your hand, your fingers in your hand. Now the last one, we're gonna combine both together. And this is what we want to do with our hitters. We want a combination of both. However, I think most of the time coaches will teach muscle-driven swings, only muscle-driven swings, with no concept of the fascia and how to, how to get the hitter to use their springy fascia. So here is combining both. Again, hand on your thigh, palm down on your thigh. You're going to pull the finger back now. And now, as you let it go, you're going to slam it down too. So you're gonna do both. You're gonna catapult it and you're gonna slam it down. So up, slam it down. You can probably hear the thump in my microphone three times. So as you'll notice, that last example, you had more force production while using both your springy fascia and your muscle material. This is where the catapult loading system came from. So I hope this video was kind of helped to explain what springy fascia is and does and make sure that we're swinging smarter by moving better. And before I let you go, the Hitting Performance Lab wants to know, did you know repeatable hitting power does not start in the hips? Have you heard the expressions, load and explode the hips, power comes from the hips? Well, we created a free video revealing the results of a scientific study that will show you how we added 48 feet of batted ball distance instantly, and it's not all about the hips. Click here now to get the video while it's still free.